we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright Welcome to two days RV cooking. What are we cooking? Uh, what's it look like? Looks like chicken. But we're going to be featuring my new toy. And we'll have to tell you about that later. New but toy? Anyway, yeah, got a new toy. Anyway, I'm just going to kind of go over. Um, these are just fresh bone-in chicken pies. Skin on? That's obvious, yeah. Skin on. <laughs> So I've already done most of them, but what you want to do is make sure sometimes these, the skin gets pulled down or whatever in the packaging. So you can just whatever side it's pulled, you know, kind of get it positioned back so it's evenly covered. But then there's usually some extra skin that I like to trim. So get yourself some good kitchen sears, shears and just trim off that excess skin. And the skin will shrink, so don't, you don't have to get too carried away. But just trim off that extra skin, and and uh, then some sometimes a little bit extra fat underneath. Although the fat is good flavor, it'll it'll melt out as it smokes and cooks. So smokes. Hint, hint. What we're doing oh, today. So anyway, just some extra skin that you really don't need is just on a <coughs> smoker. Has a tendency to just get a little rubbery. Okay, so that's on those. So I will wash my mm -hmm. hands and be right back. Okay, so washed up these beautiful hands. I'm going to put some barbecue seasoning on. I usually just do the the non-skin side first. And I don't have it in my shaker, I just have it in my jar, so bear with me as I spread it on. The whole trailer wiggles. Is that barbecue seasoning you made? Or? Um, this is actually one I got from Costco. Yeah, that's what it's I got. It's a good all-around one, but okay. you can make your own, do whatever. So, so I don't have to wash my hands again. Just turn it over. You can get a hold of it. <clears throat> See, there was a skin that came down. Mm -hmm. I didn't check that one. And I like to do this a little bit before I put them on so the what seasoning can kind of, and that's why the chicken's still damp, um, can kind of absorb and bloom, that's what it's called, the spices. And then I can go out and turn on the new toy while this is resting and coming to Whoops, room temperature. Brush that off. Bit much? Yeah, that'll be yours. Mm -hmm. You're so sweet, you need a little extra salty. Oh. Okay. Okay, so we can just let these kind of sit and bloom. Okay. And then we will uh, take you out and show you the new toy so I get it prepped for the chicken. Okay, the reveal. Okay, here we are with our new little toy. 
Uh huh. It's behind curtain number one. <laughs> Don't show da -da. all that. Going to. Okay. Okay. Ready? Ooh. So this is Can a. Can we guess? Can we guess? Green Mountain Grill, and it's the Davy Crockett. So it's a smaller one. Tell us about it. But it's got Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. It's just a pellet smoker. Mm -hmm. So basically I can uh, control this from my phone. So I can turn the heat up and down and turn it off. And, Slick. And I can actually, it'll tell me what the temperature of the smoker is. It, and I can put a probe in too, like tomorrow or late tonight when I, in the middle of the night when I, everyone else is sleeping, I'm going to be putting a brisket on. But anyway, <laughs> it um, might disappear. I don't think my camera person will be working then. So I, you uh, know, no. who knows. Um, but I can put a probe in. Well, so anyway, and it could stand on its own legs. Yes. His legs come down and some of that lock could stand. But, but we I, we just have a table. We put bought this GCI outdoor table. We'll do a little arms thing up. on it someday. A little review on it. We really like it so far. So I just store the side table right inside when I'm done. So I can put the cover on. And I put the bucket. Just our drippings bucket. Yep. Later I'll probably just I'll, I'll probably bathe in that. Oh, gross. No, I'm kidding. Okay, just put your bucket there. Yeah. So, to start it, basically, you, you know, you gotta plug in. You can run this off of, you know, your, your basically your 110 mm -hmm. plug in, or you can actually hook it up to battery. So, if you're tailgating or doing something like that. Cool. So, uh, so we're out boondocking. Like in your... Um, like in your truck. Yeah, in your truck. Uh-huh. Yep. So, there's a little plug in back here yep. and then it just shows that it's off uh -huh. but I want it to be on so I just hit power and what it does it primes has an auger in there and it'll prime the pellets uh-huh and, and get so them in place and it gets them in place and ready and gets it hot um, the little heater in there that will ignite the pellets and then it'll tell me at one that it's ready it takes a minute Okay. So I can kind of feel more secure with this thing mm -hmm. um, when we're not around is I bought this 15 foot cable that basically if you look around back there, I have it going around the, the oh, leg. Oh, the leg, yeah. The jack. So you unless they can lift up the 15,000 pound trailer. <laughs> um, but then I have it and so what I do is I, I wrap this up and go under the handles, through the handles and lock it. Under the cover. Under the cover and then I have this locked. There's a heavy duty yep. combo lock, so um, and that way it's a little bit more secure. Yeah. Anyway, so now it's ready. So now I just I'm just gonna set um, actually it's gotta wait. It's not quite ready. So basically we can close that up. Mm -hmm. And this of course is where you put your pellets in. So actually it's gotta go through its one, two, three cycle. But we can go ahead and go inside mm -hmm. while he's doing a thing. Cause I got the chicken on there. Cause I'm gonna smoke it on low temp for a while to get a really good What's smoke. What's low temp? Oh, uh, probably about 170 Okay. for a while. And then I will turn it up mm -hmm. to about, four, about 400, 425 to finish it. Okay. So it's oh, almost like reverse. So, so it's at look, two. As you're looking, as you're seeing, it just clicked on two. Now it's really smoking. Right. So the temperature is almost up. Once it gets to three, it'll be it'll be at 150. Oh, cool. Okay. 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 So I was going to show you on the phone, and that's my beautiful one of my beautiful granddaughters. Mm-hmm. And now everybody knows uh -oh. my slide. <laughs> um, it was. No. It doesn't matter. Anyway, and this is my other beautiful granddaughter. Uh -huh. I gotta get my grandson picture in here. Yes, we do. And update these photos. So first, you just turn on your Wi-Fi on your phone. Doesn't really show up, but anyway, Wi-Fi on the phone. Okay. 
So, and question. it'll give you options, of course, who you want to connect to, but it's connecting because that's the last one it was connected to. That's our Wi Fi. So, it's checking the quality. So, it's done. I think it must okay. So, we'll just close that. Now, I go to my app that I downloaded. Okay. Here, hold on. I gotta get it better because I'm sideways. How about if I just turn it a little bit? Oh, that would be even better. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so here's the app when you first open it up. And so you just go connect. So you want to connect with the, with the app. And it shows the power of the grill's on and it's at 150. So it's ready to go. Slip. So now I can just take hit that and I can slide it over to whatever temp I want, and I want it set about 175. That's close enough. So we're going to set it for 177, and this is the desired temp. Yeah. And so it's going to, it'll actually uh, send me messages when it gets up to temp. Cool. Um, but then you can set timer. You can actually, then you can set what temperature you want your, if I wanted to have a, like for the, see there, it just said it reached. 177 so that quick 178 uh -huh. cool. so anyway it's kind of a cool thing um, we'll be doing some different cooking videos but uh, I will show you uh, as we turn off the smoker uh, mm -hmm. or, or not turn it off but turn it up to a higher temp so we kind of sear the chicken and so that way I can put the chicken and it'll kind of cook the skin more crisp um, that's a problem with what I've always been when I've ever smoked chicken thighs and stuff like that is basically it doesn't get hot enough to really crisp up the chicken skin and the chicken skin will get really chewy and rubbery mm -hmm. um, but doing it this way you get a nice uh, crisp chicken at least last time it was wasn't it it was amazing it was pretty good we've say. had steaks on it a couple times doing a reverse steer yeah and i smoked them on a cold smoke for about um or colder smoke for probably about a half hour 45 minutes mm -hmm. and then i just cranked it up to 550 and seared them so uh anyway Hopefully you enjoy, uh, and we'll come back here in a little bit and show you the next step. Okay, so here we are. I was inside and it had been smoking like at about 175 degrees. For, um, I don't know if you can see that or not. But anyway, it says 454. I turned it up to 454 on my phone on that Wi-Fi. So we will take a look. So now basically I just turn them over. Finish cooking on the skin side down. Get the center, sorry. I'm being my own photographer here. I need to trade some of these out. Hot spots. And we'll let it cook a little longer. It's got little hooks over here too to hang the, the tongs. But we'll come back in a little bit. Those look good. good, good, good. Okay, so I went ahead and turned this down to 150. It'll start cooling itself off because actually I checked it already. You know, oh. and the temperature. And you gotta get yourself one of these Instaprobe. Wait, wait, wait. Show it again. I cut it off. Wait till it focuses on. Instaprobe. What yeah. brand does that say? Uh, this, I just got an Amazon. It's, it's, what is it, Pilsen? Okay. Something like that. But, but, you know, basically it's 100, 165, 170. So, and that's plenty for. That's pretty. Those look yummy. Did you bring your platter out? Yeah. I hit my tray. So these will be a little more done. See now that when I get, I'll put them over here. And okay. So it's got a nice, nice yeah. coloring. Mm -hmm. these are, that's a hot spot there. Yeah. If I rotate them around. I thought I put the bigger ones there.
picture of it. Mm. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> For sure. Beautiful. That was a candy. Plate them up. Okay. Close to sunset here at Crescent Bar. Walk you down here. Hi. Pretty nice. I'll attempt to walk backwards here. It's the weekend. It's Friday night. After the Friday night after Labor Day. Campground's filling up. And Since we're on the river, Let's see if you can get a shot of the river here. And go. Okay. And the company, our uh, chicken, my wife made some wonderful green beans, mm -hmm. onions, with a little bacon. Yeah. These are fresh green beans that we sauteed so thought it'd be kind of uh we're trying to eat a little healthier although the bacon and all that stuff but we're <laughs> we're cutting out the carbs and the sugar we're doing keto so keto so it's trying to yes. hopefully keto cooking and we're a week and a day into it yep so we're not getting the full benefits yet but we're we're getting there yeah they say you don't really notice it till about two weeks yeah so anyway we'll plate it up there's some Couple of fives. Oh yeah. No carbs, so no bread, no rice, no pasta, but that's okay. This no, looks we're amazing. Good. We're having huge amounts of lots of veggies, lots of salads. It was kind of cut into a little piece of the chicken. Good. Nice and moist. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see that, but oh yeah. This see, I bumped this one here, and there's the juice coming out of it. <laughs> Some good stuff. Hope I don't fall on the floor. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> mm. Smoked chicken. Oh man, that's good. Mm-hmm. So, court site. Yeah. 2021. Uh, you have to stay grill. close. <laughs> so, and then these green beans. Get a little bit of onion. They need the good stuff. Mm. Awesome. Looking forward to dinner. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys have any questions or any of that type of stuff uh, just send us a comment below or you can send us an email uh, and we'll check that out and we'll follow up. and any other stuff you guys might want to see uh, recipe wise or questions about the smoker or different things uh, just get back to me and let me know but oh the thumbs up if you liked it if you don't two thumbs up uh, subscribe Ring the bell so you know, because like this video, we're just going to throw it out there. So our oddball ones we try to throw out. And lately, we've just been throwing them out as we get stuff done. Normally, we try to do on Sundays, but we've been slacking. We apologize. So hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Uh, we're going to get busy eating, and uh, hopefully, we will see you soon. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. 
All the good times just begun.